Hey guys, welcome back to Office 365 Concepts. Today, I have a video lined up for the administrators. If you're looking to manage OneDrive for Business as an administrator, I'm going to share a few tips and tricks that will make your life a whole lot easier. So let's get started. Before a user can access his OneDrive account, you need to make sure that a supported license is assigned to the user account. You can log into Microsoft 365 Admin Center, go to Active Users, Find the account, go to licenses and apps section. And from here, you can verify if a supported license is assigned to the user account or not. And once this license is provisioned on this account, user can log into his OneDrive account and the administrator will see OneDrive tab in the account properties. From this page, you can manage OneDrive properties for this account. As an administrator, you have an option to access users OneDrive documents. Under Get Access to Files, you can click Create Link to Files. This will generate a link for this user's OneDrive files. If you go to this link, you can see all the files and documents of this user. This option is useful when an employee leaves your organization and you want to download all his files to your machine or you want to move them to your OneDrive account. Under storage used, you can see this user has one terabyte storage space allocated. And you can also see how much space this user has consumed so far. Under sharing, you can control external sharing for this particular user. If you click manage external sharing, you can control all the sharing policies from here. Let people outside your organization access your site. You can allow sharing to authenticated guest users with invitations allow sharing with anonymous guest links and authenticated users, or only allow sharing with existing guest users within the directory. So you can manage all the permissions from here as an administrator. Under OneDrive settings for your organization, you can manage data retention policies and the storage space on the tenant level. If you click any one of these two options, for example, manage data retention, you will be redirected to SharePoint Online Admin Center. Earlier, we used to have OneDrive Admin Center, but now it is integrated within SharePoint Online Admin Center. You can also access SharePoint Online from M365 Admin Center. You can go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center, scroll it down, and from here you can click SharePoint, and you will be redirected to SharePoint Admin Center. So to manage OneDrive for Business as an administrator, you will go to Settings, and then you will see OneDrive options. For example, OneDrive, Notifications, Retention, Storage Limit, and Sync. So let's talk about these options in detail. If you want to manage notifications for end users, you will click Notifications next to OneDrive. And from here, you can manage the notifications. From here, either you can disable or enable OneDrive notifications. As of now, the notifications are sent to the users when someone shares a file with them. If you're using Android device or iOS device, then you get push notifications. And if you're using OneDrive Sync application, you also get notifications within the application. So those notifications can be managed from here. Under retention, you can manage the retention period for the OneDrive account when you delete a user in Microsoft 365. But before we explore this option, let's see what happens when you delete an account that has OneDrive access. Let's go to active users. Let's assume that John Smith has left our organization and I want to delete this account. Now, if I click delete user, I can give John's OneDrive files access to another user. Here it says give another user access to John Smith's OneDrive files for 30 days after the user is deleted. If I check this option, I can add the email address of the user here. For example, Bob Ross. So I can add a user here to whom I want to give access of John's files for 30 days. Also, if we want, we can give access of John's emails to someone else. But if I do not want to give access to anyone, then I can simply uncheck these options and I can simply click delete user. And the user account will be deleted from active users and the OneDrive data for this user will be preserved as per the retention period defined within the SharePoint Admin Center under OneDrive retention settings. By default, this retention period is set to 30 days. That means when you will delete a user account, his OneDrive documents will be preserved for 30 days. 
but you can specify any value from 30 days to 3650 that is 10 years under storage limit you can manage one drive storage limit for all the users in your tenant including existing users and the new users for most of the subscriptions the default storage space for one drive is one terabyte but depending on the plan and number of licenses you have in your tenant you can increase this storage limit to five terabyte so if you have a supported subscription that provides five terabyte of storage space for one drive you can type 5120 here that is 5 terabyte for each user's one drive on top of this if you have supported subscription that includes one drive plan 2 and you have five or more users in your tenant you can get the storage space extended to more than 5 terabytes but for this you need to meet certain conditions and you need to contact microsoft support team under sync you can restrict the syncing of files for the users in your tenant if you go to OneDrive for business account for any user for example if i go to john smith account let me open it from here let's click on this link let's open it so here you will see this sync option you will find this sync option in document library in SharePoint site as well. This option is basically used to sync your documents with your computer. But as an administrator, you can disable this option by going to SharePoint admin center and you can uncheck this option that says show the sync button on the OneDrive website. If you want your users to sync documents only from managed computers, you can check this option that says allow syncing only on computers joined to specific domains and you need to specify the grid value of the domains in your on-premises active directory for example if i have on-premises active directory i will have a domain that is being used to join computers and if i want that the users who are using only the domain join machines can sync documents to one drive i will check this option and I will type the grid value of the on-premises domain here. But as of now, you cannot use this option for Azure AD domain joined machines. If you have devices that are joined with your Azure Active Directory, in that case, you can use conditional access policies. Next is block upload of specific file types. Let's say as an administrator, I want to restrict my users from uploading few file types to OneDrive. So I will click this option and here i will specify the type of the files that i want to restrict for example exe files mp3 msi file or any other file type as per your business requirement but remember one thing this setting will prevent users from uploading these file types to onedrive but this setting will not restrict users from downloading the files on their machines that means if a user has already uploaded an exe file to his onedrive for business account he can still download that file to his computer but he will not be able to upload an exe file from his computer to his onedrive account you can also download onedrive sync applications from here you can click download the sync app and you will be redirected to the page from where you can download the onedrive application and if you need more information on the options that we just discussed you can click on these links and you can learn more about these features so if you found this video informative please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and if you have questions or suggestions feel free to write them in the comments below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video